Hello, we're going to do the splits. We're going to do the splits and rock, paper, scissors. Have you ever played rock, paper, scissors? It works like this. You go one, two, three, scissors, or one, two, three, rock, or one, two, three, paper. But what you do is you don't play it on your own. You play it with someone else. And what happens is that you, oh wait, yes, well, you, you can hear me, right? Just double checking, double checking. Yes, you can hear me, woo! So my name is Caroline from Bubbly Maths and I'm telling, giving you these activities from the amazing Aiming High website. You tell your grown-ups that there's a, there's a link in the, in the description and they can download that. And in there is a special little section for early years. So that if you are between the ages of four and seven, then this is for you. So the game of rock, paper, scissors. It goes like this. If you do a rock and your other person does a rock, then it's a tie. You're both the same. So you go one, two, three, rock. That's a tie. You both have the same thing. If you, if you go one, two, three, scissors, oh, you both have the same thing. But it's a tie. One, two, three, paper. You both have the same thing. It's a tie. If you go one, two, three, scissors, and the other person does a rock, then rock blunts scissors, so rock wins. Scissors beats paper, because scissors cut paper, scissors win. And paper beats rock, because rock wraps paper. So that's how you do it. And what you can do is you can get someone to write down who wins each one, but we're playing it a slightly different way. We're playing it, I'm going to put this down for a moment and I'm going to use my big voice. We're playing it by doing the splits. Are you ready? Here we go. Chair away. So there's two ways of doing it. Let's see if I can move that down. Good. So you can see. Hey. I don't even know why that's on there really. Can you still see? Yes. Okay, so see by my feet, so you start with, you face each other and you both go one, two, three. Oh, I've chosen scissors. Let's say my, the other player's chosen paper, so I win. So they, actually no, it has to be the other way around. I've chosen scissors, they've chosen rock, so I lose. So then I have to separate my feet a little bit. Every time I lose, I have to separate my feet out a little bit more. We both have to separate our feet a bit more, and 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 a bit more, until we... So the first person falls down. So the first person that either falls down or if you have to put your hands on the floor, or your elbow on the floor, any part of you, or you fall over like I nearly did, then that person loses the championship, but it doesn't actually matter because what you're doing is get someone to write down who wins, if you get them even, to write down who chose rock, who, you know, what you chose and who won or, or who lost and whether it was a tie. Well, you just hit there who the winner is and whether it was a tie. And there's another one as well. You ready? This is all on the activity sheet. So you can get your grown up to your older people to download it. This is another way of playing it. So pretend there's two of you, right? Because only me. But what you do is you start with one foot in front of another. And let's say this is my other person. And that's their feet, okay? One foot way in front of another like that. If you win, you take a leg and step backwards. So let's say we've played it for a bit. And that player's over there. And I'm over here. And I'm... What, what I haven't shown you is the bit where if you lose, if you lose, you have to, whoops, put the front leg forward and touch the toes of the other person. So if you're way, 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 way back here and you're really bad at doing the splits like what I am, let's say I was halfway up these stairs, and if I lose, I've now got to somehow reach over there with this foot. Oh, oh, oh boy. 
Um, and then if you have to go too, very, very far, then you end up doing the splits. Hello. Do the splits and the first person to put their hand down or that falls over. Well, that's the end of the, 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 the match. And that's just a fun way of doing it. So why are we doing it? Why are we playing? Hold on one second. Why are we playing this game? Well, I'm just going to do one thing over here and have a look at, we're very lucky. I've managed to make that work. Ooh, refreshing things. That doesn't help. That really, really, really doesn't help. That's taken me to completely the wrong place. And not now, now not, not now. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to come any second now. And we're going to I'm just gonna have a look at this. That's what I'm gonna do. Start playing that, and then I can see if you make any comments. Right now. Why are we doing this? So tell your grown-ups, okay? There's a little video for you to play. So you have to get the grown-ups to download the, the, the link that's in the description. And in there, it's called, it's a home learning guide. And it's got things for children of all ages between the age of four and 18 plus, and it's inclusion, which means if you have anyone with special educational needs, they, there'll be activities in there for them as well. So they can choose. And for you, it's, it's a game of chance. We're playing a game of chance. You have as much chance to win as an adult because it's pure chance. And then, and grandma being grandma, when I play with my grandson, he wins quite a lot, but not too much because we played it properly. And we ended up, I did the numbers, I did some, some marks every time I did the marks of when, grand, when, when we tied, when grandma won, when Leo won, when that was a tie, grandma, Leo, tie, grandma, grandma, Leo. We were almost the same. Look, see if I can find it. Here we go. I marked it off like this, like this. And I put a little mark on for every time grandma won, every time Every time we tied, every time grandma won, let me see if I can see what you're seeing. Every time we tied, every time grandma won, and every time Leo won. And then you can count the lines that you have to count this one as well. And you can see that more or less it was the same. And the more times you play, the more likely it is that there will be exactly the same amount. But you might have to play, a computer can do this, and you might have to play thousands and thousands of times for it to be exactly the same. So this is again, now the only thing is when the one where you've had the foot, one foot in front of the other, it really is better if you're both the same size, then it's a more fun game. And then if you, if you can do the splits, you have an advantage, but we're not counting who wins, who, who falls over with, that doesn't come into it. All we're actually counting is the rock, paper, scissors, what your choice is and who wins that part. The splits part is just for fun. Right, now, let me see what else, why else are we doing this? So we're doing it so that you experience the game and you think about whether or not you have, you, have, you can win more often than the other person or if it really is a game of chance all about chance how likely is it for you to win is there a way that you can win more often and i do mean a fair game so sometimes when you're quite little it's quite hard to not wait for the other person and just a split second later find a way of winning you've got to maybe keep your eyes closed so that you don't know you choose before you open your eyes and then it's really that is a game of chance the other one is not a fair game because you have an advantage that you can see what the result is. So you've got to make sure it's a fair game. That's super important. So keep your eyes squinch closed, shut. And then whatever choice the other person makes, your choices just, it just works. Because it's we, we're checking to see how chance works. Chance is a super important thing in life to, um, to help you make decisions. 
and and help you with being a good math learner. So that is it was it wasn't very much to it. If you want to have a giggle, you want to see Leo playing with grandma. And if you like to take videos and things, you can get somebody else to video you playing it. Over the weekend, we played it on Friday night, Saturday morning and Sunday night, me and Leo. So if you want to have a giggle and see silly grandma falling down, that's me, I'm Leo's grandma, then you can have a look at that and put the previous videos on here. If you like these videos, please do tell other people about them. Please get the grown up to share them and tell people about them, making maths fun for kids of all ages. And if you, that's the group. And if you like YouTube, we're on YouTube as well. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's the Bubbly Maths YouTube channel. And all those links are in the pinned um, post at the top of the group. And you can, that's the Bubbly Maths where these lives go up and there's um, doing maths with soap bubbles and balloons. And then on the Maths Toys YouTube channel, we have the, the, the like, pre-recorded videos that go with the activities on the Aiming High website. So have fun. And there's something for early years in all of the activity packs. So have fun and I'll see you the same time tomorrow. Thank you very much for coming on. Now, I'm just going to have a look on Facebook to see if anybody has made a comment. And I don't see any comments, so I'm just going to finish the live. Here we go. Ooh, got to remember how to do it. Thank you. Bye-bye.